It's time to breathe, bend, and stretch. Hi everyone, it's Bethany, and today we're going to work on the emotions and energy of determination and perseverance. Have you all heard the expression, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again? That is a great way to approach your yoga practice. Sometimes we can't hold the pose. Sometimes we don't understand it at first. We may do what is called fall out. And so what do we do when we fall out of something? We get right back into it. I'm sure you've heard the expression, if you fall off the horse, get right back on. This is that same concept. And I'm gonna teach you how to do this in your yoga practice. Come on, let's go to the mat. Here's what you'll need for your practice. You'll need some space so that you can move around. You'll want to have some water so that you stay hydrated. And you can grab your yoga mat and put it out. But if you don't have one, don't worry. It's totally fine to practice without one. Let's take a look at the poses we're going to do today. We're going to do dancer's pose, tree pose, and twisted chair pose. Starting with dancer's pose. Arms come up. I'm going to turn my left palm forward, bring my right arm down with the palm facing out, and bending in the right knee, grabbing a hold of the foot. Take an inhale breath and grow taller. And on the exhale, start to kick back. Uh-oh. Whoa. I, I fell out of the pose. I feel a little bit discouraged. But you know what? I'm going to try again. Inhale, arms up. Left palm forward, right arm down. I think I had too much weight towards my toes. I'm going to put a little more weight towards my standing heel. Grab a hold of the foot. Inhale, get taller. Exhale, start to kick back and up. Kick, lift, go a little higher, and change. Oh, I'm really glad I tried that again. I'm going to do the other side. Turning the right palm forward, left arm down, bending the left knee, grabbing the foot. You start to kick back and up. Oh no. Oh, that hip is coming up too high. I'm not stable. Okay, I had to just let that go. I'm going to try it again. Arms up, right palm, left arm, bend the knee, telling myself, remember, keep the hips so that they're even. Kick, lift. Kick and lift. I'm also going to put weight towards my standing heel. Hinge forward slightly, lift higher. Whoa, stay with it. Three. Well, it was better than the first time I tried it. So when you fall out of something, you just try again. Sometimes it works out great. Sometimes you have to try quite a few times. And then a lot of the time you have to let it go until the next time that you practice so that you give yourself a little time in between when you are doing something, let your body recover, let your mind think about it a bit, and then you try it again on the next time that you practice. Let's move into tree pose now. Standing mountain pose. Standing into my right leg, open up your left leg, put your foot inside the calf, or if you can, bring it a little higher. Hands in prayer. Uh oh. Okay, well, I brought my knee forward to come out. Try again. Standing in the right leg, opening the left, putting the foot. I hope you're doing better on your second try, or maybe you got it on your first try. Just stay with it. 
Arms go up. Breathing. Arms come down. Knee forward. Foot down. Well, that was definitely worth trying again. And then standing into the left leg, place the right foot on the inside of the thigh. Focus. I can persevere. I am determined. That was a bit of a distraction. I thought about something else. When I said I was determined, I also felt some self-doubt at the same time. You have to believe in yourself. Let's try one more time. Standing in the left leg, opening up through the right, placing the foot, breathing, and I notice also that if I'm not super stiff, I can hold it better. release. I think that's what it means when they say, go with the flow. Like, let your breath flow through your body. Quiet your thoughts and just be with everything as it is. That felt really, really good. I hope that felt good in your body and mind as well. All right, the last thing we're going to do is a twisted chair. Arms up, sit in your chair, hands to heart center, inhale, exhale, twist. You know what we have to do. Sit in the chair, hands to heart center, inhale, exhale, twist. Right elbow goes outside, left thigh. Turn, twist, turn, twist, release. All right, other side. Arms up, hands to heart center, inhale, exhale, twist. Knees side by side, sit lower, twist more, release. You did a really great job today. Now it's time to rest. Lie down on your back. Bring your arms down by your sides. Extend your legs out long. Relax your feet. Relax your hands. Close your eyes and feel your breath. As your belly rises and falls, feel all of the emotions and the energy in your body and your mind. Keep breathing and relaxing. Just notice that the thoughts will come in your mind and that the thoughts will leave just like your breath comes in Notice that emotions will rise and your emotions will also gently fall away. When we lie and rest and we allow ourselves to relax and feel, we learn the truth of who we are, what we think, what we love. Let yourself enjoy relaxing and resting and just be.
Now we're going to take a very deep breath in. Wiggle your fingers and toes as you exhale. Gently open your eyes and roll to the side. Press yourself up. That was so great to just stay with it. Keep going. You were determined and you persevered and however you did is exactly as it's supposed to be and you just keep practicing. It's been awesome to practice with you today. Until next time, bye.